Uh, when is the uh, Ohio race? Is it I think Tuesday? It's Tuesday, yeah. yeah. Tuesday mm-hmm. is uh, primary, and there are there are several people that are big time anti Common Core uh, that are important. Tom Brinkman in Ohio, Pat Manley in Ohio, and Corey Shankleton. Remember those three names: Tom Brinkman, Matt Manley, Corey Shankleton. These are probably the three most important seats that can be won in Ohio that are massively anti-Common Core. The other one is Matt Lynch, and we have him. uh, Is he on the phone now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have Matt Lynch on the phone Mm -hmm. now from Ohio. He is running for Congress. Hello, Matt. How are you, sir? Good morning, Glenn. Privileged to speak with you this morning. Thank you. I have heard many, many good things about you. Um, Tell me, first of all, your stance on, uh, on Common Core. Well, I'm a co-sponsor of the uh, Common Core Kill Bill, I call it, uh, in Ohio, which is uh, primarily sponsored by uh, Andy Thompson. And it it is the way to stop Common Core for all of Ohio. It's stuck in the Education Committee right now. Uh, When we had the first hearings a few weeks ago, we had close to 1,000 citizens wait all night long until after 11 p.m., if you can believe it, at night. Uh, to voice their concerns and opposition to Common Core, but um, n- but nonetheless, it's stuck in committee, and I'd encourage folks to support those candidates. And I'd add one more candidate to that, Glenn. Linda O'Brien is running in my old House, Ohio House seat, this, the 76th district. Linda O'Brien is a strong Christian conservative anti-Common Core <laughs> candidate who mm-hmm. is uh, actually running as a write-in. And you might recognize her opponent's name. Her opponent's name happens to be La Tourette. Mm. And he is he is uh, the person who held the seat that you're now running for, right? Well, yeah, that's right. Steve La Tourette uh, held the congressional seat that I'm running for, the 14th seat, for 18 years, essentially unopposed. Mm-hmm. And he resigned uh, a couple of years ago now. Uh, it's just the perfect time on the calendar, Glenn, so that, so that uh, the, the folks couldn't vote on it. There was no primary. Uh, but his hand-picked successor, uh, Dave Joyce, was put into the seat, and he's now my opponent in the in the congressional uh, primary on May 6th, next Tuesday. And he and and this this uh, Joyce, David Joyce, is the, I mean, he's the quintessential establishment Republican. He's the Lindsey Graham type. He's the uh, John Boehner type, right? And so you are are running as the uh as the small government conservative alternative here that is exactly right uh dave joyce was described uh in an article in red state just a few days ago as one of the boehner bootlickers uh mm-hmm. so I'll, I'll let folks make that decision but uh he certainly is, is not a conservative he's been rated by every conservative organization of freedom works and heritage and club for growth all at less than 50 percent of voting record as conservative so he he's the go along get along kind of guy that uh, went to Congress uh, to to uh, keep the seat warm and push the button when uh, the stab- establishment told him, and that was exactly the opposite of my posture in the Ohio House, often fighting against uh, the leadership of my own party, including my governor, over things like Medicaid expansion and Common Core, and uh, and I just it, frankly it got to the point where I could see that unless we could change things in Washington, we wouldn't be able to make progress in Ohio. And so, well, then, uh, with uh, uh, with God's grace and the, and the, rep- the conservative voters, uh, I'll be in the be the victory in the primary on May sixth. All right, so let's let's just go down a couple of things. Most people, I, I don't think I've heard of a flat tax guy in a long time. I'm yeah. a big supporter. I don't. I mean, I would rather have a fair tax than what we have, um, but I'm not a big supporter of the fair tax because I think it just allows you to just have special interest groups again, eventually just uh, corrupt that thing. You're actually for the flat tax, which I'm for, but I don't ever hear anybody say they're for that. I think that's fantastic. Well, the of course, you're right. The fair tax or the flat tax will be a, a, a huge improvement to what we have now. We, we have to get rid of the 16th Amendment. Uh, but the flat tax, of course, is the most fair tax. I mean, that's the reality of it, and has the least opportunity for manipulation by politicians to uh, uh, to really uh, pay off their their supporters and be used as a, as a form of uh, crony capitalism. You know, the, sure. the the tax code today is just one huge uh, conglomeration of, of lobbyist payoffs to protect this industry or help that industry. And I'm all for industry and business. 
but the tax code is not the place to to do things like that. We need we need to have a simple flat tax, and frankly, we need to repeal the Sixteenth Amendment because we need to get rid of the IRS. You know, it was bad enough, Glenn, when the IRS you had to be afraid of them as the worst collection agency in the world, but now they're 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 secret agents, right? <clears throat> they're actually attacking conservatives uh, across the country, and we know this, and we certainly know this in Northeast Ohio, where the the Tea Party groups have been uh, under the gun from the IRS. So, you know, we 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 cannot allow the IRS to be used as a, a weapon against a conservative. Well, you're going to you're going to be ha- you're going to have to stand up against your own party because the John Boehners and the and the Mitch McConnells of the world are not standing up. They 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 don't they want that apparatus. They want the apparatus of Obamacare. They want the ad- apparatus of the IRS. Yes. Um, and they will use it. I mean, this is why. This is why um, liberals have got to join us, uh, join the Tea Party on this, because if you get the John Boehners and the Mitch McConnells, uh, you know, and, and whoever is president of the United States and it's a GOP guy, he'll use that apparatus and say, I'm not doing anything different than the, than the former administration did. Well, there's no question about it, and it's not only bad politics or bad policy, but it's bad politics. We, we in the Republican Party have to learn the, the recipe for prosperity and the recipe for winning elections is to, for the conservatives in the in the Republican Party to join with the real conservatives in the Democratic Party in, in order to elect conservatives that will implement policy that will lead to uh, prosperity in this country. And unfortunately, the leadership of both parties <clears throat> they're only interested in playing a game, essentially of teeter totter back and forth using these issues to, uh, to, to, to manipulate the public to voting for them right. and then going to Washington or even Columbus and doing what they want. And you're right. I have to fight my own party. I, I was one of the six uh, members of the Ohio House that filed a lawsuit to try to stop our governor from implementing Medicaid expansion last year. Uh, and uh, it, <laughs> it wasn't appreciated by the party. But the fact is that, that he was attacking the, the basic constitutional concept of separation of powers uh, and it just could not be tolerated and should not have been tolerated. Unfortunately, the Ohio Supreme Court tolerated it in the end. We're talking to Matt Lynch, who's running for the uh, U.S. House in Ohio's 14th Congressional mm-hmm. District. Um, Matt, are you? Um, uh, where do you stand on immigration reform, on, on amnesty? Well, there's another very frustrating area. Uh, in Ohio, uh, believe it or not, we actually have a significant illegal immigrant problem. Uh, oh, we, I believe it. We have over 100,000 illegals living in the state of Ohio, costing Ohio taxpayers over $800 billion. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, at the state level, there's limited things you can do. But last year, when uh, the Ohio Attorney General uh, told the Ohio Department of Transportation that they were required, required to give driver's licenses to persons that were illegally in this state, I, I mean, it was just absurd, and so, of course, I interest, introduced a bill to, to stop that in Ohio. Um, and, and not long after that, the Ohio Board of Regents decided to give uh, in-state discounted taxpayer-subsidized tuition to illegals in you know, Ohio. Now, if here's you know, a... Get this, Glenn. If, if you are from uh, south of the border and you've, you have snuck into this country illegally, mm-hmm. you can get resident taxpayer-subsidized tuition in Ohio. But if you're from yeah. Philadelphia... Or you Detroit, can't. you got to pay out of state tuition. So here's the here's the here's the amazing thing. There's we're in we're in San Francisco today and yeah. uh, up in Menlo Park and in one of the things that I've been on the bandwagon since Bush first got into office because I was reading something about you know Bill Gates was losing some of the greatest minds at Microsoft because they would come out over for you know on a visa and then they wouldn't be able to extend their visa and so right. th- these companies these great companies are bringing the best in the world we're training them and then the government won't allow them to stay we're, and meanwhile we're opening up the doors our back doors and windows where people are not using the creative power of their mind uh, you know all of them some of them are here for uh, you know for you know jobs just basic jobs but some of them are milking us meanwhile when people in in places like menlo park hear immigration reform uh, that we're against it they think we're against you know more uh, more immigrants coming in we're not we're four more immigrants just through the the right path and the right door. If you're a company and you can hire somebody in India and they're great, great, bring them in. They'll make us stronger. 
That's that's how we've always been built. But well, we have to be able to know who's here. And you're exactly correct. We have to re- re- reform the, the visa program so that we can actually evaluate who is coming in and how right. long they're staying and if they're of value to the, to the nation and to the workforce, uh, be approved as legal workers in this country. But, but, of course, that's not what we're doing. And as you know, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce uh, has as their number one issue the fact that they want to uh, open the, the doors and windows, as you say, or have them kicked in, really, uh, so that they'll have this uh, substandard workforce in the United States to work from. In fact, just a few weeks ago, they announced that they were putting $350,000 into my opponent's campaign to assure, I suppose, that yeah. when uh, John Boehner brings it up for a vote, which he will after the primary season, uh, that uh, he'll have he'll have Dave Joyce's vote for for amnesty I have, in the United States. I have to tell you, I've been such a fool. I mean, I even thought the Chamber of Commerce and everything else were, were good guys, and uh, boy, but they've been so wildly disappointing. Yeah. Um, MattLynch.com is the website if you would like to um, support, yeah. if you can donate yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Matt actually, Lynch. Glenn, the, the best place is ilikematt.com. I like I, I, I like Matt. I like Matt.com is uh, the place to go for donations. Okay. They can get there through MattLynch.com, but it's a little more complicated. If they just go okay. to ilikematt.com, and, you know, my opponent has $1.4 million in his campaign war chest. And guess what, Glenn? I don't. Hey, okay. <laughs> Matt, I appreciate it, and best of luck to you. It's next Tuesday, I like Matt.com. You can go and uh, find out more, and, and if you'd like to donate, you can uh, donate. Matt, best of luck, and we'll talk to you again.